where it all starts. Primal Sports Talk. You've heard the rest. Come join the best. Uh, good afternoon. Welcome to Primal Sports Talk. I'm your host, Dale, and alongside me, the Schwab. King the Schwab Watson. We have another exciting episode here every Saturday from 1 to 2 p.m. We're on Facebook Live today, and our calls will be open from after sports commentary with the controversial boss. Do remember, the number is 1 552 7406. We have an interesting show lined up today for you, peeps. Yeah? Yes, um, we'll be having um, the great, the former football legend, Walter Blacker Pearl, will be joining us today at 1.15. Yeah. Yes, the, but first, the highlights of the week. Highlights of the week. Well, my highlight of the week is definitely the phone calls and the text messages that I receive <laughs> based on my statement that I made last week. You know, um, so I decided that I had to come here and, and kind of discuss it at the start of the show. The statement was, was that men are suited better in leadership role and women are suited better in the management role. You know, um, people, you know, I got a lot of blowback for, for, that, <laughs> for that statement. People telling me that I'm thinking um, like, this, like people from back in the 16th century and <laughs> what kind of primitive thinking is that and so forth. But I didn't mind that because people of the 16th century, they, they live more of a natural life than, than the modern ones today. But what really triggered me though, Ken, is yeah. that when they said that my argument was sexist, yeah. you know, and I totally disagree. I thought my argument was based off scientific um, facts. And just basic um, logical reasoning and just being practical overall. Mm. You know, so I'm not going to give the reasons uh, behind that statement on today's show. I'm going to save that for next week's show in the interest of time. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to give a couple of examples that will kind of break the ice and highlight um, where I'm going to take the conversation to for next week's show. Now, let us look at sports, Kian. Let us examine viewers as well. Let us look at sports. To be specific, let us look at table tennis. Right? Yeah. If, you, if you watch table tennis, you will notice a big difference in the style of play of both what? Men and women. Now, if you observe closely, you will, you will see that the women tend to play a little bit more. Not tend to. Women play closer to the table. They play with um, more quickness. They're trying to take the ball much earlier. While the males, the men, tend to play a little bit more further back from the table. They play with more power and spin. All right, so what's the reason for this? Why is this so? Now, this is so because um, on the women's side, women have to play, women tend to play closer to the table. Reason being is that they're not as effective away from the table because of the lack of physical strength, natural physical strength, that is. And there's some mental aspect that tied, tied into it as well, but I won't get into that. In the interest of time, I won't really get into that. So we want to stay on the physical part of it. Women are <coughs> they are not strong enough to be as effective enough away from the table. So they choose to, to stay closer to, closer to the table, take the ball earlier, and try to use angles and, and, sp and speed to win the points, while the, while the male tend to stay a little, uh, one or two steps back because of the power and the force that they play with, and also spin. You know, so they play a little bit more back from the table so they can give themselves a little bit more time to, to, to play the incoming ball. And also, when you want to generate power, you need more time and space as well. So if I'm to say then that women are best suited to play closer to the table. And men, are, and men are best suited to play a step or two back from the table. Would that be sexist? No. Or would that be just a practical statement? A practical statement. That would be practical. Uh. Yes, it, obviously it would be practical because you have to do what is best suited for you based on your natural ability. Yeah. And what I, the mistake that, before I move on to my second point, the mistake that I, that I see that a lot of coaches are making and also teachers as well. They're treating everybody as if they're equal. Everybody's not equal. 
you know, we, approach things the same way. Yes, yeah. they, everybody's yeah. not equal. They're different in terms of physical capabilities. They think different. They process things differently. Yeah. Yeah. So it, it's a common mistake that I that I see teachers making in the classroom, and also I see coaches making in the in the sporting arena as, as well. So. Mm -hmm. Um, Man management, yeah. Ex ex exactly. You know, you, you can't treat everybody the same. We're uniquely different, mm -hmm. and that's a reality. That's a fact. Yeah. All right. Next, next example that I want to touch on. Let us look at something a little bit more, uh, more simpler. Let us look at construction, building. Yeah. If I want to build a house, who would be more suited? To build that house, based on what it entails in terms of I mean, getting the raw materials and, and blocks and building. lifting up blocks and yeah. building and so forth. Who would be more suitable for for for, for something like that? Yeah. Men, men would be more suitable in 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 a field like that. So if because they have a physical a natural physical advantage over the female counterpart. Yeah. Not saying a female can't yeah. go into construction, yeah. but I'm just saying, who will be more efficient at it? Men, because they have a physical advantage. Yeah. Yes, and I'm not, so if I'm to say, in the field of construction, men are better suited in that field. Is that sexist? Or am I just being practical? Being practical. Mm -hmm. Point taken again. So, but I want to point this out. I don't want to, I want to point this out. I believe that men, have a physical advantage and women have a mental advantage. You know, we can I, I think the women would like that. Oh, 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 <laughs> yes. I think the women would no, like we, 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 we can debate that, but moving yeah. right along. In, in, in Not to say I agree with it, but no, I think it's women. No, no. In, in, in closing, in closing, if it's one thing you don't agree with me, you cannot disagree with, with this. But in the interest of time, I have to cut my, my speech short. In, the com in combining the differences, that is the only way you can create balance yeah. in life. And also, that's the only way you can create what? A new life, a child. Yeah. Yes? Yeah. So only by the combination of differences, yeah. you can create balance and you can create a new life. And I just want to touch one more thing. Since I'm in the electrical field, I just want to touch one more thing before we move on. And I'm sorry that I have to cut it short, but all right, look at this. How do you get light? I'm not in the electrical field. All right. <laughs> tell me about Let it. me tell you how you get light. You get light through the movement of current in a closed circuit. I've no, heard, no. Heard. What caused a current to move? Potential difference. Mm. That is what caused a current to move. Yeah. No, so you have a positive and a negative. And they have different roles to play. Yeah. You get me? They're not similar. But both are necessary. Exactly. Yeah. And they have different roles to play. When you close the circuit and you bring them together. Eureka, light. You provide <laughs> a flow of current. Now moving on. Uh, King, right. we have to well, cut it short now. Right? cut that short. They went um, philosophical mode. No. But, I mean, I just think that his statements last, last week were not delivered correctly. But I understand what he was trying to bring across. But I mean... He'll tell you further about that in oncoming shows, and I'm sure we have caused that. We'll dive more into that. But my highlight of the week is the awards given out this week in two different sports. Track and field, where we have Elaine Thompson and Kirsten Warholm winning, and the Ballon d'Or. A lot of backlash on that. But before we touch on the Ballon d'Or, we'll talk more about the track and field. Yes. And as expected to me, those were my two choices. Elaine Thompson, we are we all saw her season and her performances um, etched her name forever in track and field folklore because, I mean, breaking those records that seem unattainable at one point shows that, I mean, female sprinting is on the way up, up and going to new heights. And she spared that along with the rest of Jamaican females and she kept off a season with gold medals apart from her times. I mean, double Olympic gold, mm -hmm. back to back. I mean, yeah, precedence, great. that is, as I should say, be a statue. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, statue going around, statue in terms of so yeah. winning that award. 
yeah. it's not much a highlighted award in the media or in the track and field sporting world like the Ballon d'Or, but to me it's equivalent. And Ballon d'Or has this big lower and prestige about it. But Gillian yeah. Thompson is basically it, the Ballon d'Or winner for yeah, females. But but, but 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 Kane, don't leave out this alone. You heard about the statue that that your father is going to build for for you saying Bolton Mirror Mart yeah, is, yeah. is is um is a big controversy yeah. down there in Florida. I well, mean, <laughs> Bolton has a statue, I think, in Germany. As yes, well. it, they, they want to build one in Mirror Mart. Yeah, you know, it's a be... Jamaican community, mm-hmm. and you know, some of the people them say, "Boy, two hundred and fifty thousand for a statue." Wow! Yeah. <laughs> Sit down the box. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. So but, Bolt will be getting a statue very yeah. soon as well. Bolt should have a statue in every country. Ah, agree, <laughs> agree, agree. Bolt is he brought legendary. Her, Yes, I think both mm-hmm. both um put track and field at the forefront in terms in, in sports. Mm-hmm. Certain know? sports people are icon- yeah. iconic. I mean Michael Jordan, Diego Maradona, yeah. Lionel Messi. I mean yeah. Christian Arla stretches outside of Portugal. So it's not strange for yeah. a foreign athlete to have a country and, and Elaine, everywhere and, in the world or countries in the world. Yeah. So that's that's a big thing for yes. both and, 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 and the USA being our rival. Yes. But Elian Thompson definitely did big things this year. We know her switching camps now. Yeah. We'll see what, what happens next year. We we share the best, but of course. She had a remarkable season. Also, we have to kudos to Carson Warholm running sub 46. We already break it down in the show, but when you look at it, running sub 46 over 400 meters, alone in itself, yeah. is it's new a grounds. big time. It's new ground. But to do it even so with hurdles, I mean you have to run sub 12 over every 100 meters with hurdles. Okay, yeah. If you really break it down, continued speed, and you have obstacles, and you got to rub sub 56. To me, that performance is equivalent to Bolt running 9 5. And to me, I think Bolt can go 9 4. But I mean, we will we'll want to see that from Bolt. We'll see that yeah, sometime in our lifetime, probably next 20 years, because. Human beings just tend to improve and improve. But Keep on evolving. Those two are... Yeah, big two, up the lane. Yeah, man, big up the lane every time. Yeah. And I mean, later in the show, I'm sure after sports commentary, we'll talk more about the Ballon d'Or, but yeah. a lot of people saying we should have this winner, that winner. Oh, I was going to ask you, did he deserve, did Messi deserve the Ballon d'Or? My personal opinion, I think yeah. they picked the right choice, Lionel Messi. Seventh yeah. Ballon d'Or. And I'll tell you further on the show why. I mean, feel free to call in and go with or for or against me on that. But even so, Lewandowski finished second. He had a good season as well. I had no issues with him winning as well. It wouldn't be my first pick, but not everybody have the same choices. Georgina closed out the top three. He was the European champ- on the European champion team with Italy and the Champions League winning team with Chelsea. He's a pivotal player to the team, but I think he's more of a Feel yeah. a player. Yeah, we, we'll break it. We'll we break, break it down, down further down in the show. After sports commentary, we'll definitely um, go back to that topic. Those were my highlights of the week with, with those awards given out. But big up to all the awardees. And, I mean, just to make it in the top 10, you have to... Yeah, great, great. Levels. There's levels. So yeah. a lot of... We like to see people being rewarded for their just work, no matter the field. I mean, whether it's electrical, like a deal, yeah. telling us about current, but yeah. <laughs> yes. But, yeah, uh, uh, yes, NBA. We can touch a little NBA, NBA before, before Pearl yeah. comes on in yeah. a couple um, minutes. Steph Curry is still on the, the MVP, still yeah. playing at a MVP level. a big level. match last night. Yeah, Beat against Suns, um, break the 18 game win streak. Yes. 18. Yes. Yeah, Suns beat them early in the week. Yeah. So both won on their home court. Still playing well. And to well. me, those are the two top teams in the NBA so far in terms of level of play. They're both in the West. The West is tough. Yeah. East have some good teams. Look out for the East, but yeah, I they, mean the West is tough. Clippers beating Lakers last night. Mm-hmm. LA showdown. I mean, yeah. well, we know we know that we, we know that Lakers is on the down anyway. Yeah. But, but will that, Lakers make the playoff? I already said it. They're in trouble if they do make it. Yeah. Seventh or eighth. What, what, what's your pick, thoughts? What's your thoughts on LeBron getting the fan ejected out, out of the arena? I mean. You don't think they're if, crossing a thin line right there? Who can you really believe that what Le, what LeBron is telling the security is is, is to be true? Even or? so, I think you have to protect the players. To, and to I mean, level, if he though? felt uncomfortable, uncomfortable. With, well, uncomfortable. clearly, clearly, he seemed uncomfortable. Who, who pay? Who pay them? 
You know, I, I, I think I, I agree. No, the but whole I mean, to, to there's the no fans. sport without the fans. Exactly. But so I'm, I'm thinking that he's. I think the NBA have to have to go and review that. I think they're they're crossing a very is that is a thin line right there because who to tell you? You don't know if what LeBron accused the fan of saying mm-hmm. did the fan actually say it and mm-hmm. and did that warrant them um the fans being ejected out of the and also fans should ring. know. Their place there's, a limit. Well. there's a limit as well, so it goes both ways. Uh, that's what I'm saying, it goes both ways. I, I see Westbrook did it last season, so I, I, I think that the NBA will have to, to, to look into this mm-hmm. because what if one, in a scenario where you find a fan say, I did not say that and I'm not leaving. Yeah. And you know players... But I'm sure everything... And everyone was frustrated, you know, mm-hmm. he was losing, mm-hmm. so you who to tell him? I'm Who sure. to tell? So, mm-hmm. should you just take the player's word for it? Should the security always take the player's word for it? I think so. Because I think they have a, a code of conduct where they should go by. I don't think players go around. No, but it's word of mouth. That's, oh, mm-hmm. that, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's word of mouth. We, we, you don't know. Mm-hmm. Maybe one day a player just get frustrated and decide the, the, the fan been heckling him the whole match mm-hmm. and just... He's losing the stack of frustration the, and getting the, out of the The whole arena. stadium can heckle him and then see what him do after that. Yeah, I, I, I think the fans, the opposing fans, they're there to distract the, yeah. the, the, the but, visiting but players. They're, and they're, and you should, it's too sensitive mm-hmm. now. Every little thing you're going to want to throw the fans them. Oh, oh no, we can't do this, we can't. No, man. And then again, We're there to have fun. Half of these fans are drunk too. What you know, if enjoying themselves? What if the opposing player said the same exact thing as the fan? Like, we're playing against each other. He's not going to be ejected. And then a player whispered to LeBron, what the fan said, what would LeBron do? Ask the ref to eject him? <laughs> ah, good point. Ah, that's what you're saying. Good that. point. Good and point. he's trying to get in his brain, just like Zidane bucking down Matarazzi. Exactly. And then Zidane saying he said this and he, he said, said that. that. And but who he's knows? He's trying to, you know, unrat- yeah. unsettle the player and get him out of his game. And Zidane got out of his game and got a red card. And, and probably France lost the, the World Cup. I probably, probably lost I think the, Italy would have still yeah, in the World Cup. Team. It's your team. So, so yes. Yeah. But, but you know, I, I think it's a, it's a thin line there. Mm-hmm. And, and the NBA need to definitely review. I don't mm-hmm. know what they're going to put in place. Maybe um, cameras and yeah. maybe audio. Yeah. Or, or so forth. But to just take the... Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, we have our guests oh. today. And I mean, I, well, this 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 guest here, you know, is is actually my favorite player to watch, you know. Yeah. Boy, I trust me, man. Yeah. The, the, Growing the, up, I mean, I he's trying to link the younger generation to the older generation. Yes. So I guess, you know, Peter's generation is before my time. But no matter what generation, you, you must hear this name yes. when it comes to Jamaican football. football. Even yeah. a sure five year old kid right now, yeah, hear about this remarkable this player, legend. Legend. I mean, I want to welcome to Primal Sports Talk for the first time, former yes. reggae boy, Walter yes. Black a Pearl. Yeah, big up, big yes, up Pearl. Yes, yes. Think? yes. Good, day, good day. Nice to be on the program. I respect yeah, you good, good us, good man. Day. I mean, yeah, yeah. Good for, day, for us, it's a privilege to have you as well, you know. So, I mean, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they'll yeah, tell me they, stories. Of- yeah, man, I, 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 I grew up watching you in the stadium, and I remember that match against Zambia when you take the ball from half line and you beat two man and you just put it in the back of the net, man. George, where I was on that, that team, <laughs> boy, I tell well, you, I tell you. Yeah, go ahead, yeah, boss, yeah. Man. no, you, 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 <laughs> you just can't force, <laughs> yeah, man, yeah, man. Yeah. Boy, I, I, I tell would- you. And, it was, it was, it was, trust me, you're, you're, you're my idol as a, as a youth growing up, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't, yeah, I didn't well. catch much of the earlier days. I catch more of the later days, but even so, I know yeah. people that even went to Excelsior, have Excelsior friends older and them say, yo, you want to see the play Morning Cup? You think I know you bad? Yeah. And I say, <laughs> yeah. I said the Pearl bad from them time then. So I say, but know that you, you're born with the type to play football. So I guess growing up for you, football started from a tender age. Yeah, well, um, well, well uh, um, from I began to know myself, I, I think I just fell in love with the game and I, um, I just grew with it. Mm-hmm. Kept on, I, I just really keep on trying to do always hanging out, playing ball, you know, juggling, playing some scrimmage with friends. You know, my friends, all, it's like all of my friends are players also, you know? Yeah. yeah. So, you know, yeah, um, I don't know, I don't know what. It's a good, it's a great feeling. Just you know, just just, just being able to, 
Yeah, yeah, I, you know, that's all. Is, it a, is this know, a party? Because you must be, I mean, is your talent just to just kick a football and from a young, you just have a knack for just going out there and playing, I would guess. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're, still I, involved, you're, you're, still, you're still involved in football now? Well, what I do, what, um, not, yeah, and I, right now at the moment, what I do, um, I'm with, uh, I'm coaching, I do coaching. Um, okay. I work around like kids, kids, oh, you know, it. It, yeah. Mm. So, um, so I, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't assume that going to the World Cup is your most memorable moment of football, but we want to touch on that, the going to the World Cup and how, how what was that feeling like? First qualifying for the World Cup and being at the World Cup. Describe that period of time going through football reggae boys. I was a young 10, 11 year old. I was at the matches oh. with my uncles. But yeah. describe that feeling qualifying the World Cup campaign and actually being at the World Cup. Yeah, because um, we used to, as the players, we used to sit down and wonder if it could really happen. But, you know, it's like we, we had this never say die attitude, you know, where we just have. We just believe, like, if we stick together, because it's like each person had that respect for the, for the other person. I would feel like if we stay together, like, who could beat us, you know? So when it started, like, it, it really started seeing that, yes, you know, like, it, it bears away. It, it just made us push more. And then with the country, the country coming behind us, I think that just, you know, that was it, you know? After that, you know, yeah, there was no more doubts. Whenever we went to the stadium, it was, the you know, it was just, yeah. It was just the yes. office. The <laughs> uncle business at the <laughs> office. Yeah, man, I remember those days, man. So, so, so speaking, yeah, and speaking of the, the, the whole camp and the reggae, what, what, what was your relationship like with, with Coach Simons? Everybody wants to know that. What was your relationship like? <laughs> um, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Cause you know that's a that's a big question I had to ask you because uh, we as youth I grew up right here about Rene Simons and the Black Pearl and Ray Ray Ray. So you don't know the prime man, so we have to talk. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um. Well. Well. Um. The coach. I think there was some we had there. I think the coach is doing his job, you know, yeah. and I am um, being a player. I, I just had ways of handling things that of dealing with playing out on the field, and we end up having differences. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That, nothing is wrong with that. Yeah. yeah it's just. It's just. Yeah, and I think. It. And I think. I think it just take time. It just take time. Grow and it kept. You know, it's like. You know, and the coach took it the wrong way, and then I wasn't, you know, I wasn't gonna tell the coach like I was, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't trying to explain myself. Then. Okay. So if the coach upset, if the coach upset, is like, all right, then you know, it just and it just got the wrong way. Things got the wrong way. Mm -hmm. I end up in a big push, a big mm -hmm. push where um. Yeah, I, I know what you mean you because know, you know, even Rene, Rene Simon said you were you were the the Pele of Jamaica, you know. That's what he he, 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 he he always like I always he always um he always a big up the black pearl, you know? All right, all right, all right. Because I, I, all right, a lot of people don't know this, but when the coach just come to Jamaica, like the captain bring him like the captain was telling him about it. So when he when when he first came now, the captain brought him right to my house, you know, you know? Yeah. So yeah. and we we'll, we'll talk, then like it's like he went to a couple of functions. And I was there with him, so we started building, you know, a kind of like a... Yeah. Yeah. So at first, you know, we, it like... And I, I have the highest respect for the coach, you yeah, know, because... Course. Yes. And yeah. and him really come and show us a lot of things, uh, um, like on the professional level, the professional side. Yes. More on the professional side. I, I, I like handling, handling football at a professional level. You know, I was, pl I was playing professional already, but I still... Learn stuff from it. Definitely. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as I said, it was just just an argument and it just got the wrong way. And and I think after that, it just never got back. Never mm -hmm. got back. 
Yeah, those things yeah. are so yeah. yeah. It just yeah. never yeah. got back. And and you know, after after everything, it was at Captain's funeral that I actually saw by the coach. You know, that was the oh. first time we spoke. Okay, you understand? So, and so so what was it like? It was it was a whole different mood. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. And he must say, the coach will say, yo, who could I do this? And me and say, yeah, coach. Because me and you really yeah. have, you know that, you know? Yeah. And it's I'm like, yo, what's the all of this? <laughs> yeah, you just grow it. And when you look back, I say, why? Well, it's just things go. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, yeah, you know? Mm. And yeah, so, you know what? It, it was like you got to, I feel like at the time, too, I just got to a whole year. It was mm. a lot. You know, and um, especially for me, it was a lot. And um, but a lot of the time, too, I think it put me in a bad light with 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 with, 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 with the public. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah. because people thought I got the impression uh, them. You know, they think like you know what they're turning you do this. Yeah, because yeah. I, because I, yeah. I, 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 I heard all the rumors. I don't know if it's true that the Black Pearl don't want to train and so forth. So I heard the rumors as a little youth, but mm. we, we, we don't know what is facts. It's just what what is put yes. out yes. In, in the public, you know. Mm. Yeah, but, but yeah. I have, so, but but for me, you being on the field, I've never seen you behave any um like uh, in a in discipline. You're always disciplined on the pitch, so. I, um, I, I couldn't understand what they were saying that the black pearl is and the black pearl that I just couldn't understand. Even going to the World Cup, I was saying, oh, why is the pearl not on the field? We know he's the most, he's we the know most out there. He's, he's, the the most most creative, he's the most creative footballer. <laughs> okay, <that's>, yeah, <laughs> you, know, you, you want to be a fan dunk because I'm at the crowd. Yeah, yeah. 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 football, you know, football is like expressing yourself. You understand? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So man. if you come from if you come from Argentina and, and you good and me come from Jamaica, I'm going to see then, you know, this yeah. is you okay. know. We're gonna do we're gonna do thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make see and at the end yeah. of ninety minutes, you know. If you want, yeah. 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 So, so, let's see, so tell, like, yeah, so tell us about what, what, what your thoughts on the, the current um football now, the reggae boys and the whole thing surrounding the team. Yeah, um, I think uh, you know, we just feel like Jamaicans get to learn this to Jamaicans, uh, uh, and I think it was me alone as a player on the field. Problem is, it's I did sick with it, but then you start finding out that Jamaicans are like we're passionate about football. Yeah, mm. you know, we have, you know, so everybody we have high hopes and high expectations, and it, you know, we 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 like football, and um, it just well, I think we have with football like we we have a great team, we have a great World Cup squad, yeah. talented player. I, I think mm. yes, man. I think and even now, even this recent with this, my my thoughts, my view on it is that. Even now with this team, I think, I think since I right, watching the other teams, I think this this was a very good chance of qualifying yeah. for us, yeah. for me. So so sometimes I the, just feel it just, huh? Uh, be, yeah, based on the, the quality of footballers that that we have within the setup. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, so yeah. it really, you know, and and it's like. Yeah, so it kind of, I don't, it's not the happiest point, you know, it's like, you know, sometimes it just get me, get me away because it's like, I'm still have the feeling, you know, yeah, you know, yeah, you, you want. like, are you out there and you want to do something about yeah, it, man, like, like, you can't you go out there. You feel like you're going to run out and just go help them on all these things. Yeah. Come know, because it's say even now talking about the World Cup campaign, it, it seems stressing to you that we're, we're right there, but we're not. Getting the results because you see that we can and we see it a puzzle right now where you feel it. Yeah, but yeah, man, and 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 sometimes, sometimes you know, you see somebody beat you that different, you know, but it's like sometimes if you miss your own a chance, you know, it's not yeah. you, you know, yeah, the team yeah, are better yeah. than you then. You know that, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like like you have end up, yeah. Huh? Like you're beating yourself. Yeah, man, and they know you have to end up watching that person play a World Cup and you know when you know that. You know, we play, you know, yeah, yeah, man. You know we have the class over. Yeah, so what, 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 what chances? Yeah, cause even the last yeah. match against USA, that was that one <laughs> rough. From from the Bobby Reed miss to the call back of the goal with Damian Lowe. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that was yeah. tough. But yeah, 
What do you think about yeah. the, the structure of, of Jamaican football going forward? Because couple, well, four years from now with the campaign, although we don't give up on this campaign just yet, we still have a slight chance. But going forward, what do you think we can do different for just not put ourselves in that position again? Um, uh, we just we just need to pay. We just need to pay more attention to like like football have its own language, you know. You can't yeah. dictate to it, you know. You know. Yeah. So if mm. if like if you have a squad mm. and you have a nice set of players, you know, and you see that them get along, yeah. you know, you encourage that. You play the you play the players. You know, sometimes I feel like we don't play the players them that supposed to play. Yeah, the team chemistry. Yeah. Yes, yeah. I, I, the team. I, I, you have to play a t- a player that like this man is peaking now, or you know, a man that is doing good. It's like sometimes you, you play a well, squad and change back. Yeah, you know? I go for name or feeling. I'm not making thing. No, no. Some, like the rate at which you change the squad, oh, okay. like the change on the players, so you don't get to build that chemistry. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, like for me, I, I'm, a, I'm an advocate. I, I really want to see Ravel Marston getting more playing time on the pitch because I think he's a he's one of the creative ones that not getting enough time. But based on what what is needed, now we need to score goals. You know what I mean? We need yeah. to start score yeah. some goals, and we don't have, we don't have much transition from from the defense to midfield to the forward. It's just pure long ball or some little fumble ball where I work. I don't from. see any. I don't see any at all. I don't see any transition. That's what we need. Yeah. That's yeah. what we need. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. It's a whole individual brilliance from one player and get a goal instead of link up and build up play. Yeah, yeah. We don't yeah. have that. Yeah. Yes. No, we don't have that. And, and then we need that. We need yeah. that because like the, the, the center of the field is like a, yeah, like an engine. Yeah. yeah, like you support the defense, but then when we're going forward, you mm-hmm. have to that period, you, you know, you have to collect it from the defense and build it. Yeah. You know, and we as forwards to as a striker, you likes when your link man are bring, you know, yeah. you know, say, yeah, 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 you, like, you, say yeah. yeah you know, Theodore come with it, so you stay on the side, you know, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. Yeah, you know when so. stop again, I make two turn, you might look, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, <laughs> you get yeah, yourself yeah, so you one. Yes. Yeah, and yeah, so instead of as to sometimes when it kick long, you know, you have to go, for, you know, yeah, 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 I forgot for that ball every now and then, yeah. but the ball is more easier coming through, yeah. And, yeah. and when you get to work, yes, like we have a pattern, or you know, yeah, more of a link. So, who are your players? You know, like people see you and say, Yo, you are fit and play. Who are your players growing up? Which players you admire? Even now, watching football from your favorite players all time football. Oh, you, you know, it's a um, funny, funny, you know, it's a um, when they just grow, like mm-hmm. some people when grow around, yeah, we never really, we never really like, you know, Jam- like now Jamaica different, but you never have access, everybody never have access to the TV, yeah, we never yeah. have color, you know, and yeah, so yeah. it's like. You know you want another, uh, yeah, you, you know, like me, like, I, me, like when we grow, I think you have Dennis Shebanks, you have Fitzroy Jackson. You know, yeah. some players around me, where it's like, to me, I think them have skill, you know, like at the yeah. skill yeah. ball of them, you know, yeah. you want their own them. Yeah. yeah. Huh? Is it what you yeah, say? You know, yeah. what you were like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, and then now uh, when you meet up, you compete the skill with one another, but you respect, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. So, outside of that, yeah, Pele from Brazil. I, you know, um, I grew up watching Brazil. When whenever I get a chance, they like yeah. watching Brazil. Yeah, yeah. And then you have Maradona from Argentina. Yeah. But, you know, I'm just grateful that I, I get to see. I see a couple of great, uh, good players. You yeah. know. Mm. Yeah. From yeah, you have Ronaldo from Brazil again. Yeah, a couple. You know. So. So like you're a Brazil up, fan. Get... So like you're a Brazil fan. <laughs> yeah, man, a Brazil fan, man. Must be. I like. I like. I like samba. Elena, but I, no, no, not samba. I'm more uh, like a reggae boy, you know. Well, ah. more, uh, we love that. We love that. We love that. Hey, speaking of reggae boy, I, I want to ask you how, how is Nandi uh, Nandi Long? You still around? Well, um, we, you know, well, you and Nandi, you and Nandi was the two top man, you know. 
As, yeah, as well, yeah, I, yeah, them, and, so we look up to you and Nandi, you know, the, the bigger you, them with the little skill, yeah. one build Nandi and the, the smaller one, them one Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how's yeah, Nandi? And, uh, yeah, we, we, we still talk, you know, we still, Nandi's not in the country at the moment, he's overseas. Okay. But, but he, yeah, he's, he's doing good, he's okay. You know, yeah. he, he he calls and you know he's worried also about the program. You know, yeah. okay. So I, my probably <laughs> stressed like you more. I'm gonna watch it. I say, you know. But him son, him uh, son, represent good though. Mm-hmm. Damien, yes, uh, him son, him son, I play good still. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, Damien, and yeah, and I remember when I used to look go look for Nando when we were playing. Like him was like a like a little baby. You know. Yeah. But when yeah. you come there, him always a kick something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I remember, you know, and you know, so I just feel good now seeing him. Yeah, you so know, you grew up now and, and you know, doing things. Yeah, right? and, and yeah, and 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 you feel proud for them. You feel proud for them, you know, and you just want to encourage them. And you know, it's, it's just unlucky that they took away his goal because yeah. I think it was a fair goal. Everybody, I think it was a fair goal. even the Americans think it's a fair goal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so it's just it's just rough panarchy. Yeah, it's just hard, hard, and you know we just want to encourage him to stay strong, and and we're all behind him. Yeah, we're yeah, all man. behind him. Yeah, yeah we're all so, behind the national program. So, but yeah. before before you leave us, um, Walter, what's your most memorable moment in football? Could have been when you're six. Could have been when you play Masters League. It could have been. When you have play against Argentina, Azteca, Azteca, <laughs> and what's your yeah. most memorable yeah. football moment? Uh, Probably have um, too much, but <laughs> no nah, man, no, no. It's just like the boy being in when I was in Mexico. Yes, yeah, Azteca. Yeah, yeah, yeah that was. And you yeah, can't just say when day. when yeah. when Walter Boy mash up Azteca. You know, you know that tune there. <laughs> you can't. Tell. We know that when Walter Boy mash up yeah, Azteca. Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 We, we know that one, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was, you know, kind of, kind of different, different, different. everything. Yeah, man. different yeah, feel. Yeah, like yeah. you have a, a different energy of flow yeah. to it. I know that feeling because yeah. I'm a table tennis yeah. player. Everybody have that feeling where yeah. you just like yeah. an out of body experience, like I said, a mid of this. Yeah, you're yeah. the first. Yes, score yeah. In you're the yeah. first Jamaican to score in that second. Yeah. yeah, of course. Mm. All right, but well, thank you, Walter. Thank you for being with us. Yeah, thank you for, for sharing. Yeah, it's an honor. It's an honor. Experience. Thank you for having yeah. me. Yeah, man, it's a privilege for us, for you, for take a time out and be with us. Yeah, man. Big up, yeah, big man. up, Walter. All right. Yeah, yeah, one love. <laughs> thank you. All right, All right Blacker. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I mean, the great, great Walter. Girl, greatest ever. Yeah. Greatest ever Jamaican yeah. ball. We're having a skill call argument. Yeah, yeah, so indefinitely in a conversation. Yeah. Skill, skill call. Definitely skill. conversation. Right. But yeah, I'm going to look up some videos so we can make the yeah. decision. But yeah. even so, if you watch a pearl play, yeah, man, you, you must be entertained. Yes. Yeah, yes. man. Yeah. It's the, I love it. Big baller. Yeah. Entertaining. Great to watch. And Input fans in the stands. Of That's course. what sports is about. But yes. time for sports coming to now with the controversial boss. Peter, take it away. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm not going to get in any trouble now. I see one horse <laughs> are under pressure for saying things about the male and female role. I'm not going to get into that. I'm trying to walk clear of that minefield. But you know, recently I've been asked to make some sports predictions and I've done it with some unerring accuracy, world class accuracy. Last week I predicted. From early rounds, the finalists of the women's and the winner of the women's championship predicted the finals of the men's and, and all this kind of thing. And I mean, people have been coming to me and asking me to make predictions on various things. Who will win the elections and who will do this and all that? I, it's uncanny. But um, I don't have a crystal ball, you know. I am just here to tell the sports audience that what I do is predict about things I know about. So I know a little bit about table tennis, so I can make good predictions. But unlike some of my friends, one guy, Keith Garvey, make predictions on all kinds of sports, are always wrong. They used to have a weatherman, Roy Forrester. <laughs> and Keith is the Roy Forrester of sports. I've never seen a man more wrong. But my little clue that, that I would tell him, if you want to know what's going to happen in sports, learn, study those sports. And so I talk a lot about TT and what is going to happen. So recently, um, Italian... 100 meter world world champion said that boy he'd like to run a race against Bolt. 
And I've been asked, I'm not going to make any predictions about that. But I think that's that, you know, 30 year old Bolt, 30 odd year old Bolt would have no chance against um, Lamar. Lamar is well built and training and quite juiced up. Yeah, wrong, wrong he's, he's, I don't think Bolt would have a chance. Um, Nesta Carter, recently, he, they gave him a post retirement sentence for drug use. And a lot of Jamaican fans saying, the man retire. Low out the man. Why sentence him? Well, I'll tell you why sentence him. If you don't pass a sentence and a punishment for any act, whenever you do the act, whether you retire or not, um, then you can you 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 can simply come back afterwards after the hearing is held. No sentence is passed, and then um, you 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 re resume your career. So whether you stay in the game or not, you do something that's wrong. In which case, um, Nesta Carter robbed Usain Bolt of the, 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 what would have been a triple triple. You can imagine that a trifecta of 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 gold medals 100 200 300 in three successive olympics uh, and the really gold of course and so that's the reason why you had to meet out the punishment to nesta because you we you um nesta could have easily unretired come back in and, and not face the consequences of his action but speaking of um recently i noticed one of these countries barbados um recently made a national hero of um of an entertainer and you know we're in a sector of sportsmen and entertainers and i think we can be heroes too why can't you be heroes um in saint lucia one of your national heroes is a man who write poetry poetry you can be a hero writing poetry sir walcott um in barbados one man take a cricket bat and rescue the west indies he's a living national hero garfield sobers i believe i remember one instance in which um, Jamaica was playing table tennis. Kane Watson and Simon Tomlinson carrying all the load. And they needed a strong man to anchor that team. And I said, if the minister called me, I will come and play. I will come and play. Rescue Jamaica. I see myself as that kind of hero. Let me tell you a story. There was a war between Pakistan and India going on. And there was a series going on. And, and it's one all to finish the series. And the prime minister, I think it was Miss Bhutpur of, of, of Pakistan, went to Mr. Imran Khan house herself or himself. I don't remember who was the prime minister. Drive, come all the way to Imran Khan and say, Imran, you must play. Mm -hmm. You know why? Imran is now the prime minister of Pakistan. Did you know that? No, I didn't. He's the prime minister because Imran did something he was do. He stepped out and went to represent his country. He had retired enough. But him takes shame out of my eye. So people who bring shame out of your eye should have a shot at being hero. I've been a little bit of a hero myself. I remember once at Titchfield, the mighty KC, when I was 14 years old. Mighty KC came to, to Titchfield. Mighty KC with Basil Coombs and Dennis, I don't know Dennis Duncan. Rick Isaac's brothers, um, probably Colin McNeish, Randy Fagan, came to, to bully us. And, and, and when the score was six love, I was looking in the auditorium. And I needed somebody to be a hero. That was me. I won the one game, six one it was. <laughs> right? There was a time also, well, we have done it many times. Ken wants to know what it's like to take shame out of your country's eyes. But what I'm saying is, Bob Marley sing a song. Until the philosophy that all one man inferior and another superior is finally and totally abolished and discredited, there will be war. That song became the battle cry for the struggle against racial, ra racial imbalance. Yeah. The fight of the oppressed. That's a singer that did that. And so he is a hero. He's a hero. When Imran Khan got up and took up the bat and went to bat, he was a hero, right? Why should only politicians get to be heroes? What did um, Alexander Bustamante, uh, Bust Bustamante I don't want to get political. But what did these guys do that Michael Holden couldn't do with a ball? Or that Bob Marley couldn't do with a mic? Yeah. And I'm saying to you that sportsmen can be heroes too. I agree. That's my commentary for today. Yes, yes. Then a hero comes along. Yes, yes. Um, strength to carry on. But I agree with Peter. Yeah. I mean, heroes come in different forms you, yeah. as i said don't have to be a politician it, it can and be an entertainer can be a areas. sportsman can be can be just a regular joe down the road everybody has somebody who they look up to and on a larger scale of things i mean 
he can be a hero. Barbados just appointed Robin Rihanna Fenty, <laughs> national hero. So I mean, who's telling the future? No, but Suppose people can be a hero. I mean, I'll be acknowledged as a hero. Some people would debate it to say no. Some people would say yes. But I mean, Manny, what you bring to your country, and um, yeah. you know, yeah, of course. And Bob, Bob Marley, in my opinion, should be should have been a hero a long time. You know, well, some people. When, when when we when I used to go to Florida, when, when we used to travel, the first when when they say Jamaica, you know what they used to say? <coughs> mm-hmm. Bob Marley. Bob Marley. Yeah, Bob Marley. yeah everywhere Bob. I used to go. Bob yeah, Marley, and, and no? now what they say now? Boat. You seen boat? You boat. seen boat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I um, mean, in in certain mm-hmm. yeah, in certain aspect, well, yes, I, I do think it's not just politicians. It's also entertainers. Mm-hmm. You have athletes. Yeah, I totally I agree with, with mm. Peter's take right there. Sorry to cut today, but do you remember the phone lines are open? The number is 1-876-552-7406. And that's via WhatsApp only. We're on Facebook Live today and episode is going on good. Yes. I mean, we just left with the pearl controversy, but just left us with interest, interesting take. Yes. And I mean... Yeah, well, let us go back to... The Ballon d'Or. Ballon d'Or. Yes, yeah. let us revisit that. Yeah. Because you said that you think Messi deserve, um, was deserving of, of that prestigious yeah. Um, yeah. award. You know, and for those who don't know, who might not know what the Ballon d'Or is, because not everybody's football fans. You know? The yeah. Ballon d'Or is an award that is presented by a, a, a French news magazine called France Football. You know, mm. they have a, a rich history. You know, they, they are the most reputable... Um, sports publication in Europe. They've been around from 1946. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, so um, it's a prestigious award, and um, they, they have a uh, 100 and I think 80, 84 journalists mm-hmm. from from the magazine that votes on 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 on, um, on this um, award, and you have three three criteria based on what I've been um, reading and researching. So a lot of people have been saying that Jorginho the Italian yeah. was more deserving of the award. Yeah. Um, what say you? What say you in terms of in who, terms of Jorginho? Yes. What, what what kind of argument could you could you come could, up with to, could, to, for or against for Jorginho? Um, Let's say for. He has won two prestigious titles, the yeah. two biggest mm-hmm. titles for the year. Well, he's on the team. Yeah. I mean, he's as I said, play a pivotal role. But I mean, to me, the two teams that won are more of assisting teams where they're well coached. Yeah, I think Georgina is Itali- replaceable in those teams. Replaceable in 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 Italian. I mean, teams. his contribution is highly valued. But you have other valuable players as equal or to me even more. And the Chelsea fit up, I think, keep on the defense line is very vital. Kante also beside him is a in general, oh, workers. Chelsea, yeah. and without and without Kante, I think Kante is the MVP of the team alongside the keeper. Kept the latter clean, clean sheets. The, the, the keeper, what is his name again? Eduardo Mendy, I think so. No, yeah. What's the keeper for the Italian keeper? Uh, Donnarumma. Uh, Donnarumma. And then, Donnarumma, Donnarumma was, 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 the, was the, the, the player of the tournament for so Italy at that championship. That at the Euros. So, well, I was touching on Chelsea first, but. Okay, okay, um, okay go ahead. So, yeah. Chelsea mm-hmm. keeper. Who mm-hmm. one also Kante in the middle of the park uh, played remarkably throughout the whole Champions League. He got the man of the, um, the MVP for yeah. the Champions League. And even right leading now. up to the finals, Kante was man of the match and played brilliantly most of the matches. Yeah. In Italy set up, same thing with other players. I mean, the back line for Italy, not letting any goals. Keeper making brilliant saves. Georgina again played good, valuable, but to me replaceable as well. So Georgina's impact was needed, but to win the Ballon d'Or, no. But even if you look at it in history, you have players that won the World Cup and the Champions League in the same year, and nobody made a fuss about it. Okay. Roberto Carlos won the World Cup and Champions League in 2002. World Cup with Brazil, Champions League with Real Madrid. Mm-hmm. Nobody said a word. Sami Kadira won the World Cup with Germany and mm-hmm. Champions League. The same year, Yeah. nobody said a word about it. Because we know those players are... 
Yeah. What you they're call more, more like role players. Role players. Yeah, yeah, I get you. They're, I get they're you. replaceable. So what's the argument about this this brother from Portland? No? Le, Le, Lewandowski. People are vexed with Lewandowski that he didn't get it because he would have gotten it the year before when the award wasn't held because of so they want to carry over that, but so, yeah, but for the, the award what, is for what, the year. Yeah, but what is it, what his accomplishment is domestic, right? Domestic, all domestic. All domestic. So but would you he has value, a brilliant scoring record. So people, would you value international over domestic? You can. Of, of, obviously, you it can take precedence over domestic. It doesn't take precedence over, but it determines it on what you win domestic. Because if it, you win Algerian league. Mm-hmm. No more than going to tote up Algeria. Ah, I, 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 yes, I think I think and international. Algeria. I think international. Um, you have to take into consideration. If I win a World Cup, I think that is more valuable than winning a domestic championship. Definitely. So that that's where I was putting the yeah. argument. It's a domestic league in comparison to Messi mm-hmm. and um, and Jorginho who, who but, won an international title. But under uh, but if you win Caribbean Cup mm-hmm. versus winning. Bundesliga. Caribbean mm-hmm. Cup don't mean nothing compared to well, Bundesliga. Well, well, that's, so there's that's levels a, to what is domestic level, to what is yes, yes. international. Yes, yes. That's, Just that's like a, with Leandos' case now, he won Bundesliga mm-hmm. and the Super Cup, German Super Cup, yes. which is a knockout competition. Yes. But even apart from that, his stats were off the chart, scoring a bunch of goals. And he was, well, he broke the, the record, a long standing record the year before. Mm-hmm. The year that he would have gotten, everybody agreed that he would have gotten. Would have gotten Even gotten Messi last year. said Lewandowski, Lewandowski deserved Lewandowski. that. Deserved but that. going into the, this year now, where the award was given out, he had a superb year, but feeling Champions League, just like Messi. Mm-hmm. I mean, only winning the Bundesliga, which he wins every year. Mm-hmm. Bayern Munich basically steamroll that competition more serious yeah. but it's still i mean you have to play the play the league and you yeah. have to win so not to take credit from Bayern Munich winning the league within the knockout competition as well Bayern Munich is is always it. competition is less in Germany than in the other leagues in Europe but yet still kudos to Bayern Munich yeah. kudos to Lewandowski for scoring a bunch of goals and he's yeah. pivotal on his team yeah, but great. Bayern Munich also has key players in and around Lewandowski but he is the finished product and he is their star player the so the case for Lewandowski to me is greater than Georgina if okay. Lewandowski had gotten it I wouldn't see why and Mark you I'm an Italian fan so if Georgina won it I mean yeah. hey but I'm not trying not to be biased yeah I, I see all the comments out so there. Lewandowski mm-hmm. to me had a stronger case yeah, than Georgina because his goals and his value to his yeah. team is way and, greater yeah. and Messi's case now Messi Scored the most goal in his league, just like Lewandowski. Mm-hmm. He won a knockout competition in his country, Copa del Rey, just like Lewandowski. Mm-hmm. Lewandowski won Bundesliga, Messi won Copa America. Copa America is South American competition. Some people say that is like ninth on the list of in trying to value, value in terms, in of, terms, value, value, in terms of value, which they don't put much precedence on the Copa. But when you look at it, Argentina hasn't won a major international trophy in 28 years. Yeah. If it was that easy, Argentina would win every year. Exactly. Argentina do win the most. They have been in a hiatus. They haven't won long. And everybody not Messi. Oh, you have to win something for your country. You have to win something for your country. All right. Messi lost twice to Chile yeah. in the Copa America. And now, he win the Copa America. Yeah. He's the player of the tournament. He have the most goals. He have the most assists. And we all know, he's not only pivotal to any team. Messi is the linchpin in mm-hmm. every team once in field. Even if Messi have a bad game, Messi draws so much attention. So what do you think about him performance you now at PSG? I think I think Messi just he's upon a track now. He look like him sandbagging to me. I don't see next year World Cup, you're going to see a do, different Messi. Where's the individual runs that Messi used to make for um, for, for team there? I'm taking Marker. it. I'm taking teas now, he's man. He's a professional. I I don't see him. He's not being he's aggressive a, now. No, nah, I'm a, it's he, a different may, setup. You might say him trying to learn the system. Yeah. But I watch him know. Mm-hmm. And if you if you, I watch a lot of Messi highlights mm-hmm. 
I don't see him even attempting the things mm. we're used to do. Mm. We are the run from the side to the middle mm. and then the letter. Yeah, when, when you get up in, in age, you know. And 33 they, and versus 34, dude. And, and, and hold on a man, it's not just an <laughs> ordinary 33. This man, this man has a whole of a mileage, just mm. like Lebron. Mm. It, you, 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 you have to pace yourself. Mm. And I think Messi is, is, has his eye on something else. Yeah. You know, and he's, he's, so still I, think in he's just, I think he's just pacing himself and kind of protecting himself. You see Neymar mm. is injured again. Yeah. You know, the drop a drop him, call him, but he's injured. <laughs> he's, he's injured again. I think Messi have, have the eye on the big prize. Yeah. I think he's more viewing the World Cup and him just kind of strolling and, mm. and trying to just well, do what I, it takes. If, enough if, I'm, win, you if know? I'm paying a man's salary mm-hmm. and him, I see him give mm. me 90%, I want 100 Mm. I want a hundred people. Uh, Peter, that man, that man carry, carry fans to the stadium mm. regardless. Yes, he's doing that part. He's, he's, he's so sell, so them so selling the a lot of t-shirts, mm-hmm. you know. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Them so still, so so still atop the league, them yeah. qualifying champions. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So it's not like they're tapering off. The yeah. matches yeah. I've watched. You want to see Messi? Messi need to do some Messi business. Oh. I see <laughs> Mohamed Salah. Every match, mm-hmm. Mohamed Salah do the thing where we come, we pay to see. Egypt can't win the World Cup. Have you watched Mohamed Salah this year? Yeah, 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 the, yeah, man, yeah. the man is doing exactly what Messi used to do. Mm. Yeah. Taking the ball on the side, mm. cut to the middle, and then either shoot mm. or pass. Yeah, yeah, but Salah, yeah. Salah is giving the people money's worth. And then again, yeah. next year when the ball and door is on the door, Salah will not be in a conversation. That can't Egypt, be true. Because Egypt not winning World Cup. And we know the winner. Oh, but to somebody <laughs> who, who, who we contributed to the World Cup. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, yeah. Salah is playing great. Eh? And I, again, I the ball and door. No, since since I've been it. watching this Salah. I Salah going on with things. And, 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 and no Salah system Mohammed. is perfect. And Ballon d'Or has kings in it. Because everybody's saying, oh, it's a favoritism award and this and... Yes. I mean... Um, um, uh, these um, are fun awards. Fun At the end awards. of the day, it's a fun award. Publicity. I don't watch it. Yeah, when Ilian wins uh, something based yeah. on a vote, it doesn't matter yeah, It doesn't matter. I think that Mr. Jordan will count the trophies. Yeah. And Mr. Tinga will count the... Yeah. The they rings. will count the rings, we count the thing. We don't count the votes. Yeah. I, I don't really... I'm not your but, vote but, man. Five, yeah. like Kobe. But, but if you go according <laughs> to the criteria, then Messi is deserving of the award. If yeah. they go according to the criteria that oh, they yes. put out yeah. he's in terms of collective and individual Even achievements, so. that's, that's, that's... But guys, I want to answer no question. Mm. I want to ask a question. The great Walter Boyd was on while ago. Mm. And the great Walter Boyd said the midfield not working right. Yeah. The great Walter Boyd yeah. said mm-hmm. that the players on the f- are great. Mm-hmm. The resource is great. Mm-hmm. I didn't know it's the great Walter Boyd knows and none about the coaching. And no, he was staying far from that. You <laughs> must far right? No, I, Where I we see, not stay far from it. <laughs> uh, but, but, <laughs> but, 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 uh, it indicates something, though, when it's yeah. a boy, they're not using. The um, players and the players, it's almost kind of in in form. Yeah, but yes, on. Yes, yes, everything yes. that Walter Boyd said tells us that we could use better coaching. No, I wouldn't say it's down to coaching I alone. To, I, think, I think the structure, I, I think, I'm not saying no pressure to too much. I think him under pressure from the <laughs> GFF. Because look there. Problem for we get news that too, we get news that Tapa we get news that Tapa lose him job, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the big man, the president of JFF, come out and say, no, no, go so. Tapper is the coach. So, a board meeting keep. Yeah. They want Tapper out. Yeah. And the big man come and say, Tapper is still the coach. The, so, how yeah. can a board meeting yeah. keep uh, all of that rope rap? And yeah. then, no, the big man have to come out and say, no. I, I'll show it's, it's, it's still unsure right now. Tapper seems like Tapper after you look over him shoulder. The truth, is, the truth is that you cannot bring in a new coach at this time. Uh, because of where we are in a situation. Mm. Unless you won't get the deputy like Paul Haller. We don't mm. know about Paul Haller, mm. the, the, the team to run. But the fact of the matter is that um, I believe that they're just treading water right now. You know? We're out. We're out of the World Cup. Mm-hmm. We, 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 there's no chance. So it don't mm. make no sense to do anything. We have lost. When Primal Sports called for the removal of the coach from mm. two months ago, we had a chance, you know. And when we called for Ravel Morrison, mm. and when we called for uh, why, they, they, they had a... Um, Bailey mm-hmm. and and um Michael and, 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 and Michael Anthony. Anthony. Mm-hmm. When we made that call two and a half months ago, had we been in charge of the team, mm-hmm. we'd have been there, you know. That. Yes, <laughs> but yeah, we, come we were on, there. Come we on, there. we would have been there. I mean, I, I, I can only tell you, tough, the people tough. who made bets based on my predictions last week, mm-hmm. you can thank me for it. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yes, so, yes. I, I remember I, I predicted a two and Jamaica win, and Damon Lowe did deliver. And yes, referee. 
That is also true, but it's part of the game. It's part of the game. I mean, it's part of the game. But that can't come down the top. I blame the coach for having. Um, I saw the guy playing number ten, you know, Bobby um, Reed. Bobby, Bobby Reed, <laughs> and it's about three matches before I'm saying this guy is sleepwalking. Yeah, I don't know if he's on it to maintain his international cap rate. Mm. Can you have to maintain that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But at the same time, don't injure yourself because you know a coach will tell you that, you know. Yeah. Of course, our coach will say to you, no, big man, man, big man, yeah. are sending you to play mm. for your country. But if you get an injury, me and you have a problem, you yeah. know. And I want to so add, to, I, yeah, that's so, that's that's good. That you I have to protect the butter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But you know, yeah. In, in they don't regard this um region as anything, you know. The yeah. managers yeah. from England, you know. Yeah. So, so a lot they have of, no respect. For a, a lot of the players they yeah. come under pressure when they're supposed to come yeah. and represent yeah. Jamaica. And we, we the public that don't know. All true, but yeah. the and English league, the Premiership requires an international cap rate. That is true, right? And so Bobby Reid, come here. Still out of trouble, sleepwalk mm. through the yeah, game, yeah. and he's cool. That's probably part I don't, of I don't, I don't, I don't, part. I think he more wins. So. Is that a conspiracy plan? <laughs> 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 I say? think Bobby Reed wanted to score that goal, man. Boy, you can't tell me. Even a defender, a defender yes. could not have done better. No, one <laughs> that yeah, yeah, A defender could not even yeah, man, you That's a point that we should touch on at okay. some episode no, where. No, yeah. the managers of England, they, they don't have any the respect. players are definitely under pressure. The, no, yeah. the English players are definitely under even Because then again, you have to protect the butter. Because you have to that's who earn. Pay that's, that's and that's who pay him. That's, that's where you make the money. I that's true. There, there's, there's, there's a player that, that refused to start since him come and re- represent Jamaica and Anthony Grant. You know? mm. Since the man come a couple of months ago and play for after after a while, he's a Can spear bench. Swindon town? Yes, man. Mm. The man him, start, him, him started for the whole thing until him come. When he and then when he went for Jamaica, back, mm. on the bench the whole time. He can't time. get a game. He can't get the game. He can't get the game. And he was in the team playing day in they they out. Out. Mm. And then once him start to the Jamaica, the and I don't understand English coaching. You know, I see Raheem Sterling get a little player for the bench one day. Mm. It look pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that's what you mean. The no, probably that's what you mean. The the you kind of tape off, man. Uh, and probably the bench in, in probably that's, uh, he had something to prove. Yeah. And then no, come well, back he did it for England, mm. yeah. and then, then bring him out. Yeah, but mm. th- there's something definitely going on over over that side of um mm. the world. But um, we will leave that for another yeah, show. Sure, yeah, but yeah, well. We'll come to an end of uh, another uh, interesting um, show. And remember, next week, um, I do will ask um, my female callers to, to call me. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, can, you, don't have to, you don't have to call me. Calling a primal or, or, or We're calling a primal next oh, week. And we can have a, 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 a discussion. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, right. daily, daily. Is, is <laughs> Who's up next? Who's up next? Daddy, Daddy Lion. Lion is up next from three to six. Nice. You're welcome, Daddy Lion. Nice. All right. <laughs> Big up from Prama Sports. One love, everybody. All right. Yes.